we are going to talk about Revelstoke Pineapple Roasted Whiskey. Welcome back. My name is Von Ashby. I'm a sci-fi horror author. I just want to point out the, the point. Too many points in that sentence. I take a bottle of whiskey. I take a bottle of whiskey. I write a fake or fictional history for it based on everything on the label. Pretty straightforward, really. But I didn't want you to be confused. Let's get to what the bottle says. Well, we are going to talk about Revelstoke Pineapple Roasted Whiskey. Today we are going to talk about Pineapple Revelstoke Flavored Today we are going to talk about Revelstoke Pineapple Flavored Whiskey. That was really aggressive. <laughs> I like this whiskey. I like the flavor of pineapple. Let's get to what the bottle says. So on the front it says Revelstoke Whiskey. No it does not. On the front it says Revelstoke Roasted Pineapple Flavored Whiskey. Imported Canadian Whiskey from Naturally Roasted Pineapple Flavors. There is nothing on either side of this bottle. Less content for me? I'll just have to make more of it. Then on the back, we got all kinds of stuff. Revelstoke. To the miners of life, purveyor of good times, celebrators of joke and laugh. It's time to think beyond the serious, beyond straight faces and snarled lips. There's a revelry to be had. Now here in this moment, wherever this moment be, let's stoke. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty good, I like that. Things that stand out for me, I like the snarled lips line. I like the whatever this moment be, the word stoke. And I should probably bring in the pineapple somehow. Okay, I'm gonna go write this. Okay, all right, I'm ready. Are you ready? Fade in. The year is 1885. Canada was a country, but it wasn't really. The then independent Hawaii controlled Canada like an occupied territory. Through its army of advanced Voyager boats, it controlled Canada through its many rivers. The Hawaiian people, by all accounts, were gracious and polite rulers. Most Canadians took no issue with their rule, they actually preferred it. Except for the Revel Boys. A group of Voyager robbing gangsters. They robbed caravans of boats bringing needed supplies of pineapple to the Canadian people. Pete Revel was their leader. He hated the taste of pineapple. His mother forced him to eat it raw every day as a child. It was all they had. Years later, he took out his revenge on the fruit by attacking the people who provided it. Revel Boys were quickly labeled as the destroyer of good times, haters of jokes, and citrus terrorists. The Hawaiian army easily exterminated the Revel Boys, and the Canadian people created the holiday of Victoria Day to celebrate it. But thanks to secret mining tunnels under their hideout, Pete Revel escaped. He escaped to the mountains where, with the help of a crazy-haired, snarled-lipped scientist, he created a time machine out of a steam engine, which he'd stolen from the Stoke Mountain Railroad Company. With his time train built, he set out to reach a point in time before the destruction of the Rebel Boys, before they were killed. He wanted to warn them, to save them. Only his time machine was poorly built, and he spent the next 20 years constantly going to the wrong point in time. At each stop, he was quoted saying, what moment this be? It be it wrong. Then he'd skip off in time again. After decades of stoking his steam engine and skipping through time, he ended up back at a point before it all happened. A point where he was younger. He saw himself, his mother feeding him raw pineapple. And in an attempt to stop the raw pineapple feeding carnage, he accidentally knocked a pineapple over onto the oven, where it roasted itself. The first roasted pineapple. Intrigued, he tasted some. And his whole world view on pineapple changed. He left the pineapple behind and set off to change the world. Only he didn't need to. His mother fed young Pete a sample of the roasted pineapple, which he loved, thus leading to him accidentally changing the space-time continuum, and erasing the Rebel Boys and the Hawaiian occupation of Canada, and most of all, Pete Rebel's hatred of pineapple. 
The new, roasted pineapple-loving peat opened a Canadian whiskey company, though it's still said that the other peat is stoking his way through time, trying to end an event that never happened. Others, though, have said something happened to Pete Revel. He transcended time in his hatred of pineapple, only to stumble across something bigger, something nuttier, something pecan. To be continued. <laughs> Hope you liked it. Head on over to vonashby.com slash free and pick up a few novels if you like this. 100% free. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Rub your whiskey bottle right on either button. Spoilers, I'm gonna do the... What do you call it? Sister? Brother? Whiskey? I don't know. Some, color, some sort of relation to this whiskey. I'm gonna do the... I'm gonna do the pecan one next. <laughs> but after that, what should I do? What should the next whiskey be that I write a fictional history for? Thanks for watching. <laughs> Let's stoke! <laughs>